Howdy, it's Tubal Cain once again. And this video is a bit of a follow up to my uh, tips 117 on lacing belts. And I'm uh, standing here before my 10 inch heavy South Bend lathe. And this has a flat belt uh, drive. And I talked about lacing these, and there is some objection to some of you about uh, lacing a belt because they have a clicking sound and it's not as good as an endless belt and we all agree on that but uh, and a matter of fact this lathe did have a continuous belt on it when I bought it and I was forced to cut it in order to uh, take the lathe apart and load it and move it so uh, the reason I had to cut it is I was at an auction and I had about 15 minutes to move that thing and the only way to get them off in one piece would of course be to take the spindle apart on the top which is no small job and to take the drive apart on the bottom although it could have been left on one or the other I suppose in order to move the lathe but neither one is easy. It is, in fact, so difficult to take uh, the spindle apart, and then you have the problem of uh, readjusting bearings when you put it back together and all of that. And my brother Jan from Cody, Wyoming, again said that he would rather be dead than to have to do all of that. So that's why uh, we splice them, or I splice them, using uh, a clipper lacing. And now on to the uh, other South Bend lathe. This is the South Bend 9 inch precision lathe and it has a V-belt drive and I purchased this several years ago and again the lathe had to come apart to take it home but uh, the nice thing was that uh, it had the link type belt and although uh, many people do not like this product it was very easy to take it apart as long as you got a strong grip and, uh, and strong wrist to uh, unlink the belt and uh, quickly remove it and unbolt the, the lathe from the chip pan and you can uh, take the whole thing apart in short order to load it on a truck. And if I co recall correctly, as a couple years ago, I had to uh, take the belt apart from the bottom side, the drive side, because there really isn't room on the top, even with the belt slack and pulled over to the side. I myself prefer V-belt drive over flat belt, but you get what you can find. And most of the South Bends that I've seen have a flat belt rather than the V-belt. Now on the bigger lathes, uh, no matter what the brand, if they got V-belts, they probably have dual V-belts, a dual drive. And remember there's also another belt under here, but it's easy to change, and that is the belt that is on the uh, motor pulley. Also, there are those of you out there that are purists and think that uh, this is a, a, a cheap solution or a, a solution that uh, was for lazy men rather than taking the thing apart. And how a much pull the, uh, this type of belt has uh, as far as slipping and under load and heavy load and all that, I do not know. But on the smaller lathe, I don't ever have any slippage anyway, so it's not a problem. And I do like this very much, other than to move the belt from this groove to this one, there is a little interference here between the casting and this edge of the pulling, so it, pulley rather. So it is a little bit of a chore to move it over from this one to this one. Also note that on uh, the pulley, uh, V-belt pulley drive, there is room for four grooves. One, two, three, four grooves. So we have uh, yet uh, an extra speed, actually two extra speeds, including back gears uh, on this type of uh, drive because it's more compact than the wider uh, cone pulleys. This is the original packaging for this uh, belt, whoever bought this, and it doesn't appear to be very old, and there was a couple extra links here. But obviously here he bought six foot of uh, B or 5L industrial belt, and uh, you could add on to that. Now this is fairly expensive. I looked it up in McMaster Car, and we're talking uh, six, eight dollars a foot. So this would be like you know, 35 to $40 uh, for this belt. But if time is money, it, it's cheap. 
And you'll find these made in uh, different materials as well. This brand is called Power Twist Plus. And this is what the links look like. And when it is new, believe me, it's rather uh, stiff. And there are two links that you have to take apart in order to uh, assemble or disassemble this. And you, so you twist and you pull it apart. Not particularly easy. Now this is not a new product. It might be a new product as far as the materials that this is made of. But this uh, link type belting, belting has been around a long time. You probably won't find it local. You certainly won't find it at your Ace Hardware, but you'll find it at bearing supply houses or any of the big catalog stores like a McMaster Car, Granger, and, and, and so on. Here's another piece of belting. Now, I've only had this for about a month. I bought this at an auction, and it, there's seven foot here, and it was held up by the ring man along with a bunch of old uh, V belts, used belts, and that. And I instantly bid on it and got it for a dollar, but uh, you can see what this probably cost. And it is the B size. I don't know if they sell it in the A size, but whoever took this apart at some point was even in too big a hurry to. Uh, uh, take it apart properly and just cut several links to get it off. You can see where the knife marks are there. But that won't bother. I'll probably never need a seven-footer. Matter of fact, I probably won't live long enough to need this, but uh, I like to have it in stock. I don't like to be up uh, uh, caught short without things. So that's going to hopefully uh, become useful here one of these days. Link belt. Get some, you'll like it. I'm up in the attic of my garage now, and as you can see, I got a box here that is just full of uh, probably a couple hundred uh, V belts in the 3 8 and the half inch size. About 15 years ago, I went to an auction, and it was it was a hardware store in a small town going out of business, naturally put out of business by the big box stores. But in the basement, they had racks and racks and racks of V-belts. I bought them all for $5, hundreds of them. And I could kick myself because uh, I get so sick of looking through these boxes, and there's a lot of duplicates in there, but yet I've saved a lot of money because a belt costs 6 8 $10 now, as you well know. Even more if it's for your lawnmower from the Steelership. So uh, I had a box full of the B-belts, too. And I used to dig through those, but the problem was that uh, I seldom needed a B-belt. So you know what I did? Yeah, I know. I threw them all in the garbage, a box this size. And this is quite a big box. Threw them all in the garbage, and I have lamented it ever since. Somebody recently asked me how to measure a V-belt, and there's several different ways of doing it. But of course, if the trademark and the size and everything is still on there, uh, it's easy enough to, to read and, um, and match it up. And the 4L stands for the half inch wide, and, and uh, that's the 35 inch long. Now sometimes that'll be gone if the belt's real old or if it broke there, or if the belt uh, runs on an idler and reverses like they do on lawnmowers. But uh, you can easily measure them with uh, a tape ruler such as this. Maybe not easily, but almost takes three hands. But just go clear around it uh, with a ruler. But this type of ruler is quite unruly. So if you would get out your wife's yellow tape measure that uh, like a tailor wears around his neck, uh, that works a little bit better to wrap around. They're a little more cooperative. And uh, your wife has one in her sewing basket if she's over 40 years old or left from when she uh, used to sew dresses as if anyone sews as if anyone wears dresses for that matter but the better way to do it just take it to the hardware store and they'll match it up on on one of these things and uh, some of you may have one they're easy enough to use you can you can use uh, the one at the hardware store they usually well, there won't be anybody to help you anyway, so you just help yourself. But you just put it around there like that and, and, uh, and stretch it. And in this case, stretch her good and hard. 
it'll be a, a 35 incher but you need to use the correct scale here and look up at the top here and I'll tell you what type of uh, what the width of the belt is boy this is an old one you know it's all made out of wood there's no plastic on it no metal I had a nice one uh, made out of extruded aluminum that was a uh, uh, said gates belting on it but I don't know what happened to it but I keep this one mounted on the wall normally and down at the hardware store you know these belts are kind of expensive but at our Ace hardware store they're on hooks and they're way up high and you gotta use this big long piece of conduit they got a hook on the end of it but they really don't like customers doing it because they're uh, they're afraid you're gonna kill somebody I think with that big stick if it gets away from you so you have to find that 17 year old girl to, to get it down for you and that's how you measure a belt there'll be three different series of belts usually at the hardware store the 3L which is 3 8 wide the 4L which is half inch and the 5L which is I believe 5 8 wide this is an old one because not only is there no UPC code on there but this is all faded it used to be red now it's pink and uh, look at they had a label on there with a the price and they had to raise the price so they just marked that off and marked it three dollars and forty five cents I miss the olden days when merchandise was sold that way now they can uh, uh, change the price daily and they usually do and I don't mean lowering it either so uh, yeah years ago you'd, if there were six of these on the hook you know you'd look and find the one that was cheapest because there would be probably several different prices on them remember that this is the Atlas lathe and you can see it has uh, V belts rather than flat belts for some reason it seems so much more modern than flat belts but there's still an awful lot of flat belts around but as you can see we can get uh, four grooves here as compared to three on a, on a flat belt cone pulley type and then of course there's also uh, another set of pulleys and belts back there to give you uh, two different speed ranges plus you have your back gears so that you have uh, plenty of speeds on this uh, Atlas lathe I hope I haven't uh, beaten this belt subject to death but it is what it is, and this is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.